I always look forward to maple season. Um, I like seeing the people come in. I like visiting. I like hearing the stories. My name's Sandy Wilcox. I'm from Countryside Hardware. We're in da uh, Derider, New York. Been here, well, my grandfather started the business in 1920. So we've been here 102 years. So um, it, it's not a lot different than it was back then. We own a hardware store as well as we're a leader H2O dealer distributor um, and have been for years and years and years. I did find some paperwork back in the 40s. We were leader dealers in, nine, in the 40s. Um, and then uh, it progressed from there. Um, we did join H2O yeah, probably three or four years ago. Um, it was just a nice fit. They had some things we needed that Leader didn't, and Leader had many things that H2O didn't. So, you know, even before the merger, it was a nice fit for us, um, as well as we do Sugar Hill jugs, artisan glass, you know, some variety. But our main mainstay is Leader and H2O. What we do here is hardware and maple. Um, they fit together, believe it or not, very well. Um, the hardware business is kind of slow for the winter months. We get pretty good snowfall out here, cold. So the hardware kind of drags from January, February, March, and April, and the maple fits in there perfectly. Not that we don't do maple longer than that, but the main, main frame is January, February, March, and April. So the two kind of offset each other. They work very well together. Um, I don't think you see too much of a hardware maple, but, but you do see some. Um, it works very well. Um, a lot of my customers are smaller. Um, we don't have a lot of huge customers out here, um, but we have a lot of small backyarders and up to about 15,000 taps is, is kind of our bigger guys, um, which we, we don't have a lot of, but we do have a lot of small guys, backyarders we do a big deal with. Um, Farmers, absolutely. Um, a lot of the farms have grown, but we still in this area have a lot of the smaller family farms that still do maple, which is kind of nice to still have that. My husband, my son and I do also do some maple. Um, we have about 3,500 taps. Um, matter of fact, his family has always done the maple and my family has been in the sales. So um, now we're kind of doing both. Um, so yeah, we have about 3,500 taps. My son's back around. Maybe he will expand, I don't know, that's up to him. But um, so, so we're doing both, we, we, do the, we do the storefront, we do the maple, and uh, we have a small farm, we do some crops also. So, keeps us busy. I actually start my day driving school bus for Derider Central School, um, and then I come to work. Um, also, many of us in the community, myself, my husband, and my son, are members of Derider Fire Department. Um, it's very hard, very hard to get daytime volunteers and we're in a position to be able to help with that and if I can help, I will. Um, so yeah, we, we, we do keep very busy. A little bit about the town here, um, <laughs> hasn't really changed much in, in years. Um, we're very, very small, very, very rural. We're about 1,500 people is all there is in DeRider. Um, but we draw from quite a, quite a ways away. Um, one of the things that I make it a point to make sure I have a lot of inventory. I try my darndest anyways to have inventory here so people can just drive in, pick up, and go, um, which I, is one thing I strive for. Like I say, we have been leader H2O dealers. Um, we've been leader forever. Their customer service is top notch. You know, my salesmen have been great. Uh, they help me, but they'll also come and help the customer. Um, it's been very beneficial for that. And H2O also has stepped up. They're a great company to deal with. You know, it's just nice to work with. We're pretty low key here. <laughs>